If you have a Nintendo Switch, and I'm sure you do, you can't miss all these amazing games that are coming out for the console in 2024, which will keep you entertained for a long time. Here you have the confirmed games for Nintendo Switch in 2024. Mario has his own toy factory in Mario vs. Donkey Kong, and you'll have to rack your brains to recover all the mini Marios that this puzzle-obsessed monkey has stolen, a complete remake of one of the best Game Boy Advance games. Fall Guys fell as fast as it Rose, and Stumble Guys, a pretty decent copy, took over. It's launching console versions in 2024, and hopefully it works as well as Fall Guys did on Nintendo Switch. If you like Luigi's Mansion 3, Luigi's Mansion 2 is worse, but we'll have a remake in 2024 for Nintendo Switch. Luigi will have to go from mansion to mansion in search of his brother Mario, who has been captured by the evil King Boo. In Splatoon 3, there is no black and white, except for its side order expansion, which promises to change a lot of things in the game and offer a superlative experience for a DLC. The Octo expansion set the bar very high in Splatoon 2, so we can only expect great things from this extra game content. FIFA is no longer called FIFA, now it's called EA Sports Football Club, followed by a number, and this year it's 25. Nintendo Switch earned a more polished version of the soccer simulator, and in 2024 we might find the same game as last year, but with a 25 with a substantial improvement in some areas. The minimalist horror of Little Nightmares returns to Nintendo Switch with Little Nightmares 3. In this chilling game, you'll have to escape from a bunch of monstrous beings that seem pulled out of your worst nightmares, and you'll have no choice but to run and hide. When Ubisoft sets its mind to doing something, it does it very well. And in the new Prince of Persia, you'll see that they've sharpened the sword to bring to Switch one of the best and most complete Metroidvanias in history, Sargon will have to rescue the Prince of Persia while improving his skills and facing an army of undead that'll test your reflexes in combat. We could say many things about Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door. For example, that it arrived on GameCube and was the pinnacle of Super Mario RPG. Also, that it had such unique and unrepeatable characters that stand out in the entire history of Nintendo. But we prefer to tell you to play it without any doubt when its remake arrives on Nintendo Switch in 2024. Nintendo Switch is not short on farm and life simulation games, and this year it's the premiere of a new fantasy life. You will have to build a city and explore the surroundings while crafting all kinds of items and traveling between the past and present to unravel the mysteries of a ruined island. This year, Hollow Knight Silk Song by Team Cherry should be ready, and although they assured that the game would be released in 2023, it seems that there was some last minute problems and it was delayed until 2024. Hollow Knight is a gigantic Metroid with a lot of personality, where you play a bug aspiring to be the next Hollow Knight. To be a princess, you no longer need to transform like Sailor Moon. Super Mario's Princess will have a new solo adventure in 2024 on Switch with Princess Peach Showtime, dressing up with different outfits that give her special abilities, like Kirby, but with much more style. It tries to imitate a theater play, so expect quite the spectacle from this peculiar Peach adventure. The art director of Pokemon has had enough of creating creatures and promises with the Plucky Squire being one of the biggest and most surprising adventures of 2024. This game has a classic 2D Zelda scent with all the action taking place inside a drawing book. But then, magic arises and the protagonist becomes real and comes out of the paper to change the real world around him. If FIFA, oops, sorry, EA Sports Football Club seems too unrealistic, Level 5 comes to the rescue with a new Inazuma 11, the popular anime soccer saga that'll have a new game in 2024. In addition to living the matches as if they were Dragon Ball matches, there will be a lot of management with the characters moving freely through their world. If you liked games like Octopath Traveler or Triangle Strategy, Square Enix is already preparing a new game using the popular HD 2D style. Dragon Quest 3 will have a complete remake that looks fantastic and even being an old game, looks incredible with all the improvements it includes. One day you're just living a normal life and then BAM! Nintendo publishes games like Golden Sun on Nintendo Switch. The classics return when you least expect them with Switch Online. All the announced games are finished, but the catalog of classic games is huge and there are plenty that will arrive when you least expect them in 2024. CING squeezed Nintendo DS and Wii with another code saga, and after its closure, Nintendo has rescued another code and Hotel Dust to bring quality adventure games with remakes of some classic games. I mean, 
mean, come on. Ashley looks better than ever in Recollection, a compilation of the two Another Code games to relive a beautiful science fiction story in a different way. Lara Croft also joins the remastering trend with the first three Tomb Raider games coming to Nintendo Switch. These classics will be adapted to Nintendo's handheld, although they don't have a huge work behind them. In the absence of the great new Tomb Raider games coming to Switch, this will satisfy your craving for some Lara on Nintendo. Capcom knows perfectly what it's doing by slowly bringing the entire Ace Attorney saga to Switch. Fans want more and better, and meanwhile, the Apollo Justice trilogy arrives adapted to the console to enjoy it wherever you want, on TV or handheld. Great stories with simple gameplay that'll make you rack your brains in courtrooms that turn into narrative puzzles. Among all the indie games that haven't arrived on Nintendo Switch yet, Braid is the most emblematic of them all. This logic platformer allows the player to rewind time and thus correct some mistakes, even after dying, because the hard part's not surviving, but solving the puzzles. Crab games are cool, and even more so if they can pick things up from the bottom of the sea and use them as weapons and protection. Another Crab's Treasure is an indie action and adventure game starring a crab trying to break a curse and save his world. It is quite challenging and has been hyped up as a Dark Souls, but with crabs. This has to be the year of Metroid Prime 4. The time of Nintendo Switch is running out, and with its successor around the corner, the promise to release Metroid Prime 4 on Switch narrows the launch period to as close as 2024. The Metroid Prime remake was a huge success on Switch, and we can't wait to see what Nintendo is prepared with a totally new game from the saga. Level 5 wasn't dead, not only because of the announcement of a new Professor Layton game that'll come out in 2025. This one is called Deca Police, and it's a detective thriller that mixes exploration with turn-based combat. It's primed to arrive this same 2024 after suffering a delay in 2023. Nintendo Switch always seems to arrive late, and with Planet of Lana, it arrives very late, but it arrives nonetheless. In spring 2024, Switch will receive this minimalist, hand-painted adventure where you control a girl named Lana who is lost on a planet. In practice, it's a simple but beautiful platform and puzzle adventure to relax and take it easy. Tales of Kinzera is a game from Electronic Arts, but don't go yet, this one doesn't have microtransactions. It's one of the EA Originals games, like Unraveler It Takes Two, which usually turn out great, and in this case, it proposes a Metroidvania-type adventure in natural environments with frenetic action. If you miss 3D platformers like Banjo-Kazooie, this year Penny's Big Breakaway arrives on Nintendo Switch, which is not the same, but its protagonist does have a yo-yo, and that's cool. With her yo-yo, Penny can swing, attack, and perform a lot more movements to make this game something different. Although, it doesn't have much competition in terms of 3D platformers. 20 years ago, a platform game for the Game Boy was cancelled, but in 2024, it rises from the ashes. Shantae Advance will arrive on the Switch as a completely new game. It's adapted to the new Nintendo console, so you won't strain your eyes. But the best part is that you can strain them if you want, because Wayford is also going to release a version for the Game Boy with its own cartridge and everything. The world of League of Legends continues to expand with the fantasy RPG Bandle Tale, a League of Legends story. You'll control an adorable Yordle who decides to venture out and discover what lies beyond Bantle City, an adventure that mixes combat, small puzzles, and lots of crafting. It started as a Kickstarter and became the most funded game on the platform in 2022 thanks to community support. With so much money behind it, you're probably wondering what the heck this is. Well, Ayudin Chronicle is an RPG with over a hundred different characters where you can manage your own city and live a fantasy story. In other words, pretty much the same as in all RPGs. With so many awesome Fire Emblem games on the Nintendo Switch, it seems there's no room for more strategy RPGs. But there's always room for one more. Unicorn Overlord focuses on characters to tell a medieval fantasy story with unit control on the battlefield. It's from the creators of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, so the expectations are very high. In the spirit of bringing back games from the olden days, Contra is also returning to the Nintendo Switch in 2024 with Operation Galuga, a reimagining of the classic 80s game released on the NES that now features new mechanics, new bosses, new graphics, and a new price, which is sure to be hefty. It also includes four-player mode, because multiplayer is always in style. Five Nights at Freddy's will also have its place on the Nintendo Switch in 2024. The new games of the saga arrived earlier on other platforms like PC, and there is still a confirmed console 
digital version of Help Wanted 2 and the Security Breach DLC. Ruin is in development, but was temporarily paused on the Switch, so despite being scheduled for release in 2024, don't count on it 100%. Which games are you most looking forward to in 2024? Leave your favorites in the comments, and don't forget to check out the rest of our videos on the channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time! Yeah.